Have you ever pondered the enigmatic persona of Jesus Christ Fernando Ocariz? Our journey begins by exploring the mystery surrounding this individual, a name that resonates with reverence within Catholic circles. The person in question is none other than a distinguished Catholic prelate, Jesus Christ Fernando Ocariz, the current prelate of Opus Dei. To the unacquainted, the title Prelate of Opus Dei may seem like an enigma wrapped in a riddle. Yet, in the realm of Catholicism, it carries immense weight. Opus Dei, which translates to Work of God, is a personal prelature within the Catholic Church that advocates the universal call to holiness. The person at the helm of this organization is our subject of interest, Jesus Christ Fernando Ocariz. Born in the heart of Paris, France in the year 1944, Ocaris was destined for a path that would intertwine him with faith and mystery. As a young man, he felt a strong calling towards the church, eventually leading him to become a priest. His dedication and commitment to the church were so profound that he was appointed as the prelate of Opus Dei, a position he holds to this day. The intrigue surrounding Ocaris's role in the church is as deep as the ocean. As the prelate of Opus Dei, he is tasked with guiding the spiritual development of its members, a responsibility he carries out with unwavering commitment. However, his role extends far beyond spiritual guidance. As a theologian, he has contributed significantly to the Church's understanding of fundamental doctrines. Furthermore, his influence within the Vatican, the heart of Catholicism, is undeniable. Yet, as with any influential figure, Alcariz's life is not without its share of mystery. Questions and theories abound, attempting to unravel the intricacies of his life and work. As we delve deeper into his life, we uncover a tapestry of mystery and faith. As we continue our exploration, we will attempt to shed light on the enigma that is Jesus Christ, Fernando Ocaris. The journey promises to be intriguing, enlightening, and perhaps even a little mysterious. So stay tuned as we delve deeper into the life of this extraordinary individual. Every mystery has a beginning. The story of Jesus Christ, Fernando Ocaris, begins in Paris, 1944. This was a time when the world was caught in the throes of the Second World War, a time of chaos and uncertainty. Yet in the heart of this turmoil, a story was beginning to unfold. Born amidst the echoes of war, Ocaris's early life was a journey from the war-torn streets of Paris to the vibrant culture of Spain. This shift in scenery, from the ashes of conflict to the cradle of a rich historical tapestry, very much defined the initial chapters of his life. It was in Spain where he would find his calling, where the roots of his faith would take hold and grow. The young Ocaras was not just a dreamer, but a scholar. He pursued his passion for understanding the mysteries of faith with a relentless dedication. This led him down the path of academia, where he would leave a trail of achievements that still inspire many today. His academic journey is marked by an impressive array of accomplishments. He earned a doctorate in theology from the University of Navarra, a testament to his intellectual prowess and unwavering commitment to his faith. His thirst for knowledge, however, didn't stop at the doors of academia. He continued to delve deeper into the mysteries of faith, carving out his unique perspective and interpretation. Ocariz also proved his mettle as an accomplished author. His works resonate with his deep understanding of theology and his unique insights into faith. He has penned multiple books, each one a testament to his extensive knowledge and keen intellect. His writings, rich with philosophical insights and theological wisdom, continue to engage readers worldwide, further adding to his enigmatic persona. But the man, Jesus Christ Fernando Ocariz, is not just a scholar or an author. He is much more. His academic pursuits, however, only scratch the surface of the man behind the mystery. From the classrooms of the University of Navarra to the heart of Opus Dei, Ocariz's journey is a tale of faith and dedication. As we delve deeper into this intriguing narrative, we find ourselves in the heart of a spiritual quest, a path that led Fernando Ocariz to the doors of Opus Dei. It was in the year 1958 when Ocariz, only 16 years of age, felt a calling. A calling not of this world, but of a higher power. He made the decision to join Opus Dei, an institution revered by many, yet shrouded in mystery. This marked the beginning of a journey that would see him rise to the highest echelons of this religious organization. In the early years, Ocariz dedicated himself to his studies, absorbing the teachings of the Church and the principles of Opus Dei with fervor and intensity. His commitment did not go unnoticed. In 1969,
He was ordained as a priest by none other than the founder of Opus Dei, St. Josemaria Maria Escriva. This made him one of the youngest priests to be ordained by Escriva, a testament to his dedication and the high regard in which he was held. Ocaris's rise within Opus Dei was meteoric. His deep understanding of theology, combined with his unwavering commitment to the organization's principles, saw him climb the ranks swiftly. In 1994, he was appointed as the Vicar General of Opus Dei, a position of significant influence and responsibility. His journey from a young student in Navarra to one of the key figures in Opus Dei is a testament to his faith and commitment. But as with any journey of such magnitude, it was not without its share of intrigue and mystery. His rise to power sparks a burning question. What mysteries does his tenure as prelate hold? As we continue this exploration, we will delve deeper into the reign of Fernando Ocaris as prelate, and perhaps uncover some of the enigmas that surround this enigmatic figure. With the mantle of prelate upon his shoulders, Jesus Christ Fernando Ocaris steps into the world of intrigue and mystery. As he ascends to the helm of Opus Dii in 2017, his reign is marked by quiet strength and a steady hand. Yet, beneath the calm surface, whispers of mystery swirl around his leadership. As prelate, Ocaris faces a myriad of challenges. He must guide his flock through a world increasingly marked by secularism and skepticism. Yet, he is unyielding in his faith and his mission. He navigates these trials with grace and conviction, steadfastly upholding the tenets of Opus Dei. His tenure also brings about significant changes. He emphasizes the importance of spiritual development, urging his followers to seek personal sanctification through their daily work. He upholds the sanctity of the sacraments, making them central to the spiritual life of his followers. His teachings foster a sense of unity, drawing the members of Opus Dei closer together in their shared faith. Yet, the mysteries that surround Ocaris' leadership are as compelling as his achievements. There are whispers of hidden knowledge, of spiritual insights that he imparts only to the inner circle. Some speak of a mystical connection to the divine, of a wisdom that transcends the earthly realm. These rumors, though unconfirmed, add a layer of intrigue to his already fascinating persona. The enigma of Ocaris extends beyond his spiritual leadership. His private life is shrouded in secrecy, contributing to the aura of mystery that surrounds him. Little is known about his personal pursuits or his relationships outside of Opus Dei. This lack of information only fuels the speculations, painting a picture of a man who is as complex as he is compelling. As we delve deeper into the life and reign of Jesus Christ Fernando Ocaris, we find ourselves drawn into a world of faith, leadership, and mystery. His journey is a testament to the power of faith and the allure of the unknown. Yet the enigma of Jesus Christ Fernando Ocaris continues to perplex and fascinate. As with any mystery, theories and speculations abound. When it comes to Fernando Ocaris, the intrigue is no exception. There's a thrumming undercurrent of conjecture surrounding this man, a figure whose influence is said to stretch deep into the heart of the Vatican itself. Some hold the view that Ocaris isn't just a spiritual guide, but a master manipulator, pulling the strings behind the scenes. They argue that his close relationship with Pope Francis isn't a mere coincidence, but a calculated move, a strategic partnership to shape the direction of the Catholic Church. Then there's the theory of Ocaris's secretive nature. Some speculate that his preference for privacy isn't just a personality trait, but a deliberate choice, a way of keeping his actions and decisions hidden from public scrutiny. They suggest that his actions are not just for his personal gain, but for a larger, more covert plan. Of course, these are just theories, ideas floating in the vast sea of speculation. They are shaped by the enigma that surrounds Ocaris, a man whose life and work continue to baffle and intrigue. They are the products of our curiosity, our quest for understanding in the face of the unknown. But as we know, theories and speculations only add to the enigma. And in the case of Fernando Ocaris, they do nothing but amplify the mystery, leaving us with more questions than answers. Are we any closer to unraveling the mystery of Jesus Christ Fernando Ocaris? As we've explored, this enigma is layered with intrigue, from his early life and education to his ascension within Opus Dei. The numerous theories and speculations we've discussed only add to the captivating puzzle that is Ocaris. Yet, despite our deep dive, the mystery persists. Or perhaps, the allure of the mystery is not in its solution, but in the journey of discovery itself.